Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tamiya uh, Willy's MB Jeep that we are going to build for the P40 diorama. And I decided to go ahead and get started with it. I'd like to at least try to get the engine together and then get to step two if we can. This thing is so cool. Must have, must have slide molded the grill or something. That's awesome. But, well, we'll just put that there for inspiration. But we need to get the frame is the first thing we need. So let's go ahead and get our sprue cutters out and let's go for it. Yeah, quite a bit accomplished today. Did quite a few videos, did some gaming, and uh, just sanding off where I cut the cut it off the tree there, so. Goes in my garbage can and not the, the table. But the Cadillac is looking pretty nice. I got the bare metal foil all finished on the window areas and Looks like we need to take this part off here. I forgot about it. For as tiny as this is, I mean, the detail is incredible. And I had to go ahead and uh, put the, the top and everything on and the glass on the car. So it's really nice to see that and the P40, everything coming pretty much together. I did uh, some weathering on the M3 Lee. All right, we got a frame. We need to concentrate on this Jeep right now so we can you know, need to start building that base for the diorama. But we have our frame here. We need the engine. is right here sure I'm doing that right and not cutting something I don't want to off no nope. yeah this must be a newer kit for as no flash and as detailed as it is and we'll need the belt and pulleys It has a weird thing in there. There we go. There, I thought I was gonna break the belt there. I'm gonna put this sprue over here, which I'm guessing is where the majority of our parts we're gonna need. Let's go ahead and sand off. This part doesn't take much. I'm going to have to use the knife to get into this one, though. I don't think my sanding stick will get in there. There we go. Got that. Let's clean this up a bit. This is going to be tough. I go without breaking the fan blade off. We did. Good. That is good. Yeah, 
Excellent. And then I think we can take the sanding stick to that part by the generator. Well, I'm guessing it's a generator. It looks. Um, I think back then they had generators, not alternators. I'm not a Jeep expert, so I don't know for sure. But that'll go. This. I think I'll go ahead and should probably do some painting of these parts before gluing that onto there. The they're saying the engine itself is olive drab. Let's move this sprue too. And uh Actually, I need the top of the engine and the exhaust manifold part. Which is A11 and A22. This must be the A sprue. Where are you at? There's A22. Right here. Is the top of our engine. Fell perfectly in the palm of my hand. And then we need A11, which is right over here. And that part must go up. And instead of doing a shiny new exhaust, I'm actually going to do a rusty exhaust on this. See if I can get this over and sand that smooth here. Okay. Need to sand this one too. Forgot about it. One thing I'm good at is good at forgetting. <laughs> okay, so that's simple enough. Let's get our Tamiya Thin Set glue out. And we will, we can glue the top of the engine on. for now. How's that going to fit? My hair is getting in my face. There we go. And we need which side's up? The roundy parts. Roundy parts go up. So that'll go in like that according to the instructions. So let's glue this top on a little better. And then let's get some on here and put our exhaust right there. Hit this with some glue on this side. Because I did not get this side. Like that. Let that set a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and go around the exhaust area again. Each side and then right down that seam. 
Might as well do the top too, just to say we did. Sealed all the way around. And then we'll set our engine off to the side there for a minute. And now for our fan. I think it'd be a little tough to paint the back side of that. So what we need to do is they're saying our pulleys and everything are XF1, which is a flat black. And then the belt is a semi-gloss black. Am I reading that right? X18. Semi-gloss. No, the pulleys and the fan and the generator are semi-gloss and the pulley, the belt itself is flat black. I had that opposite. So, let's go ahead and grab our Tamiya semi-gloss black. That's LP5 though. I wonder what the difference is. This one's an acrylic and one's a lacquer. This is lacquer. So maybe it's... The other one's either an acrylic or a enamel. I don't know. But I think I will... See if this... Will fit in the... I probably would cut it. Actually, what I think I'll do is get one of my little alligator clip deals. Like I did for the Autotromic Eye on the Brom, and we'll just. And do this and we'll get the generator and the, the fan painted anyway. And again, just for the sake of, normally I'd prime these parts, but they're pretty darn small. It's close to me. I don't know if it is. Maybe that light messing with my eyes. I have a hard time telling where the darn uh, bottle is. Let's get some fan blades. Oh, I need to get the front of that generator, don't we? It's amazing, they even got the bolts for the fan blade molded in there. In the, in the middle.
Okay. And we get the back side of the fan blades. Make sure I get the sides here. They're thin parts and usually they'll cover it, but I like how quickly this dries too. That generator's pretty much. Pretty much dried. I think what I'll do here is uh, reposition, grab it under the belt, maybe, like so, so we can paint that other pulley. I think I mentioned it before, but they do show that. Um, I know my other dog's barking. It must be people walking by or something. Let me go check on her for a second. Make sure she's all right. They're awfully talkative today. I will be right back. Yeah, she was, she was looking out the window. I wonder if it was either somebody walking by or got stray cats all over the, um, the hangout around my place. Let me go ahead and give this generator another, another code here. Yeah, my puppies have been pretty, pretty talkative today. That's good for the fan and the pulley. Maybe I'll hit the pulley one more time. You know, let's give the fan another coat. It never hurts to make sure there's enough paint on everything. Like so. It's good for the backs, I think, of everything. And we'll just give the pulley another. So now, put that off to the side here. Is that the only parts that need to be painted the black? Well, I guess the frame itself needs to be painted. What was I thinking? I'm going to put this off here to the side. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'll... I'd like to prime that for sure. So I don't know if I want to do much more 
to this. I was gonna... Let's see how that engine fits. Do it fit on like that. Maybe we'll glue the engine on and I can still get the pulley and everything on it after it's done. But why don't we glue that on and then we'll assemble the, probably call that a video for now. Let's go ahead and get that glued on though. Then I can prime all this. Oh, there she goes again. sides like so I think we'll call that a video for now and then we'll do the suspension in the next one I'd like to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you guys next time